Massive fight coming up for me. Nice to see you get to this point. Yeah, I, I think the first day she walked in the gym, I thought I should be a world champion. So it's materialised. We're here. It's going to happen. Yeah, it just means a lot to me. Um, this has been the number one goal ever since I came to Peach Boxing. The first goal was to be a world champion. And Isaac told me that I'll be a world champion. And now I'm finally here. So yeah. this has been the number one goal since day one. People will see what me and Mutu's about on the show. Um, to have a female headlining a show this big is amazing. And, um, but you're headlining this as of right, so how cool is that for yourself and how cool is that for women's boxing in particular to see that progression? I think it's definitely good, um, great, especially for New Zealand boxing. Like, especially for females, it'll give, be more encouraging for our young youth as well, so knowing that a female can headline here in New Zealand. So. I think it's definitely more encouraging. Boxing's about entertainment. Mia certainly brings that in space, doesn't she, when she fights? Mia's a brutal fighter. I mean, Mia hits as hard as the boys. I think that's what female boxing lacks is power, and Mia brings plenty of that and excitement. So. You don't see too many knockouts. She's got six stoppages. She's well capable of, of stopping her opponents. 100%. Uh, she knocks people out, and um, yeah, she's. It's going to be amazing. Everyone needs to tune in and see that. Yeah. What do you do to prepare for it? Just train hard and making sure I listen to all my coaches and what they're telling me to do. That's the main focus. Mentally, anything anything different for this one, or would you just, just treat it as just another fight? The only thing that's changed is that I've got an extra coach, and that's in Peach, and he's definitely training me every day, just basically drilling every skill set. So he's got the best eyes that I've ever seen. So he knows me inside and out, and he knows all my strengths. Oh, nice. But I imagine you're a, pro, you're a pressure fighter, right? You take the fight to the, to the opponent. So that's yeah, probably definitely. Not, not change. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to change. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This IBO title, um, you know, it's a, it's a stepping stone in some ways. There are a lot of titles out there. Mia's on record saying she wants to get all the titles. So this yeah. is, the, this is no, the first one for her. Totally. Um, this is the first of many. Um, one at a time. This opportunity I guess to be in New Zealand which is amazing and we get this and then we go to the next. Yeah. I'm coming to take all the belts. I'm not just coming to collect one belt and I'm not stopping until I've collected all belts. I'll keep going until I've got them all and I promise you I will have them all. What does it mean to you to, to be at, at this point in your career and to have these big fights coming up now? It means a lot. We're like, I'm just grateful and blessed, but also it's more... I haven't done this alone. I've done this with my team and my coaches, which is more meaningful for me. Like, people think it's a lonely sport, but it's only lonely if you just make it about yourself, but it's about, it's about a team. Like, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my team and my coaches. And being able to communicate and trust them. Like, I put all my trust in them and they trust me and believe me and back me. So I think that's what makes it even more, more determined and more believable. Yeah, chance to fight at home, front of friends, family, um, all of that, that's pretty cool, eh? Oh yeah, definitely. I love fighting back home. It's, it's way better. I've got more of the support. And my family can be quite loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice right from Mutu. Certainly turned the heat up on Wendy Talbot tonight. Go, landing a few more. Comes forward, leans forward. Oh, another right. good right view of it. That's a beauty when a kickboxer comes in. They've been rocked, they've been shot. But Motu coming forward now. I feel though Motu is starting to overwhelm. Wendy now with that, that, that. She's actually, in my opinion, winning this round. Ten seconds to go. Mia's coming forward, landing multiple clean shots. And Fires is right ready and he jumps in. And for you, obviously, got David Light coming up before that. So for, for Peach Boxing, there are two world title fights coming up probably in the space of a month. That's pr pretty cool for this little West Auckland gym that you've built here, mate. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know if it's really real yet, to be honest. You're kind of stuck in the the training of it and doing it and once it's all finished and you look back I think it'll be pretty amazing but at the moment it's kind of it doesn't seem real. 
What do you say to Kiwi sports fans who, who don't know these guys yet? You know, they're not household names. You know they're world-class athletes and they're getting to that level. You've got a whole stable of them. What do you, what do you say to sports fans? Oh, we just need support, man. These guys need to be helped. They need to be watched. They need to be cheered. Um, get off your seat and come and watch them. And that's going to help them get to the top. Uh, people buying tickets make, makes them get to the top, yeah. Yeah, and Kiwis are great supporting our champions, aren't we, when it, when it comes down to it? 100%. Um, every ticket sold is, is helped to get to the world title. Without that, we can't get there. Awesome. Thanks.